Hey there, it's Brie, and this is my Halloween slash spooky season TBR. Hello, hello. So it might be a little bit dark in here and that's because I'm using natural light and I'm too lazy to get my lighting <laughs> set up. And also, I mean, I feel like it's kind of fitting because we're talking about my TBR, the books that I wanna read around Halloween or spooky season time. I'm so excited for spooky season that I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt right now even though it's like a million degrees here in Florida, but that's okay. I'm just like, it, luckily this shirt is very, very thin, so I'm not dying completely of heat. And also I have my AC cranked up. Anyway, you guys don't care. Um, I put together a TBR of books that I wanna read in October for the most part. I mean, this is, this is technically like my October TBR, but I wanted to call it spooky TBR. Even though not all the books on here are spooky, I mostly wanted to focus on um, like either Halloween-y kind of books or um, not necessarily fall books, but like monster books. And I really had a focus on thrillers or mysteries. Probably should have added more horror to this and I may add horror to it later, but I had uh, happened to have a lot of audiobooks on Libro FM that were like mysteries or thrillers. So I added those here because I already own them. And that was my main thing. I wanted to either be able to have access to these books for free by like Kindle Unlimited or one of the services that I pay for, or I wanted to already have owned them. And I really am going to mostly focus on the books that I've already owned. So anyway, I have quite a few books on this list. I will probably add more. Will I get to them all? Probably not. I am going to be reading Shattered Sea by Katherine Cowles. That is our choice for the Chronically Courageous book club that I have with Avery. So that is definitely happening. That book is in the middle of Catherine Cowell's series, Tattered and Torn series, but you can read it as a standalone or you can go ahead and marathon the rest of the books. I've read the first two books and I think I have one more and then it's this book or I could be wrong, I can't remember. But you can read them out of order, it's okay if you do. And Catherine said that herself, but it's going to be our book club pick. So I'm kind of waiting to read that until right before we do our book club. So that is definitely on the list, but it's not really a Halloween-y kind of book. I do have two Halloween specific books that I'm gonna be reading. One that I think, it, did it come out last year? It came out either last year or the year before and I had forgotten about it and forgot to read it. I had asked people for recommendations of Halloween or spooky books on Instagram and almost everybody except for like two or three said the Stay a Spell series, which I've already read. I've only not read the third book, but I don't own the third book yet. So I didn't wanna add that one to this list. I will read it eventually, but I wanted to get through books that I already own. But Paige, my lovely friend Paige, who I'm so grateful for, mentioned Booed Up by Danielle Allen. And that's the book that I kept forgetting about. And I'm so excited that she mentioned it because I would have forgot about it again and been really sad because I've been wanting to read this one. First of all, I don't know what this book is about. And honestly, I don't need to because it's called Boot Up and it's by an author who I really like. But let me look it up for you and we will discuss <laughs> what this book is about. So the only thing that it says is returning home to attend my childhood friend's Halloween party was perfect timing for me, but I didn't know what I was getting myself into when I agreed to meet up with Hannah and her friends. So apparently it's a friend of a friend, happens at a Halloween party. I actually really, really like the cover of this one. Yeah, it says a Halloween hot holiday hookup, which I think is hilarious and wonderful. And then I was kind of just, I didn't do a deep dive search. This was like on the first page, but I searched on Kindle Unlimited for Halloween romance novellas. And my friends, I came across Halloween Spirit, A Date with Death by Latrexa Nova. And you guys, this is a romance. And I think it sounds like it's gonna be kind of rom-com-y. It's a romance with a grim reaper. And the heroine thinks that the Grim Reaper is just dressed up as a Grim Reaper for a Halloween party. And so she goes and hits on him, but he, apparently he's the actual Grim Reaper. And I'm, <laughs> I'm here for it. I cannot freaking wait. Let me know if anyone else wants to read this book with me. <laughs> I'm ready for the ridiculousness. Okay, so now moving on to the books that I had on my Libro FM library that I need to get through. So I added this with the excuse that it has monsters in it and it's Parties by Sam Nascosta. This is the second book in the Girls Weekend series. The first book was a fairly short book, absolutely loved it. It follows three girlfriends who go to like this resort with sexy orcs and it follows their weekend there and then their hookups and everything. And I believe this one wraps it up because in that one we didn't get an HEA for everybody. But this book apparently is a really big book. I don't have the physical book, but Steph has it and she showed me and it's really big and I'm okay with it. But it came out on audio recently 
and I keep meaning to pick it up, so I put it on this TBR. There's this anthology that I got as a Libro FM ALC, which is an advanced listener copy, and it's uh, Marple, 12 New Mysteries. This has a bunch of authors that I'm familiar with, like Alyssa Cole, Lee Bardugo. There's, there's a ton on here, but apparently it's a collection of short stories that feature the Queen of Mysteries legendary detective Jane Marple, penned by 12 remarkable best-selling and acclaimed authors. It's a collection of a dozen original short stories, all featuring Jane Marple. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who Jane Marple is, <laughs> but it's Agatha Christie's character. I'm excited about this one, mostly because Alyssa Cole is on it, but also like Lee Bardugo and everything, so I'm gonna give it a try. I'm not a big mystery person, but I have a few mysteries on this list, and I'm going to hope that I will find a new genre that I am interested in. So, and also I had this on my shelf for a while, so I'm gonna give it a try. And then I also, this is one, another one that I'm not sure I'm gonna like, but I've heard that a lot of people like this book better than the first book because I didn't love the first book. The first book was The X-Hex by Aaron Sterling. This is The Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling. But I've heard a lot of people say that they like this book better, so I'm hoping that maybe I will too. I'm completely willing to DNF it if I don't like it, but let's, look this up. I just, I love the covers of these. And it's funny, like anytime I see the cover of the X-Hex, I'm like, oh man, I wish that I liked that book because that cover's really cute. <laughs> and this cover's really cute too. So I hope that I like this one, but who knows. But this one is very, very Halloween because it takes place, I mean, the first line in it says, welcome to spooky season, but it takes place during Halloween. And I believe it follows a new couple too. So I'm hoping I'll like it better. Gwen and the spine tinglingly handsome Wells Penhallow. And there's, oh, this is a witchy romance, by the way. The first book was a witchy romance too, which I was so disappointed by because I love witchy romances normally. So I was hoping that I would like it, but I'm really, I'm gonna give this one another try because this is like small town romance with witches and it's Halloween-y. I feel like I just have to, I have to. The next book on my list is a book that I got as an ALC as well. It's The Woman in the Library. And this one takes place in the Boston Public Library. Apparently there's like, if I remember correctly, like there's some sort of like scream or something that's heard in the library and this is a mystery where you're trying to figure out what happened in the library. It says there are four strangers who'd happen to sit at the same table, pass the time in conversation and friendships are struck. This is after, these are all the people who were present when it happened. It says each has his or her own reasons for being in the reading room that morning. It just happens that one is the murderer. So it's just, it's a typical mystery. One person's a murderer, you're hearing their stories and you gotta try and figure out who the murderer is. So we'll give it a try, we'll see. Okay, and then another book that I added to this list simply because it's a vampire romance that's been on my TBR forever, it's been sitting in my lot in my Libra FM library forever is Crave by Tracy Wolf. Actually, I think I, I think I have the physical copy of it, but it's over there and I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna go get it. Um, yeah, this is a vampire romance. That's all I know about it. The cover looks like Twilight. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this book is pretty divisive. Some people love it, some people hate it. I also am not even sure if it's adult or YA. Let me know down below if you read the book and what you thought of it. But like, don't give me too many details because I kind of want to go in without knowing anything. You know me. Okay, and then the other is a suspense, I believe, and it's When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. I believe this has to do with gentrification. Did I say gentrification? I can't get that word out. Gentrification, I'm not gonna try, I can't. I can't speak today, I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, I think this is Alyssa Cole's first suspense novel, so I'm pretty excited about it. And this again has been sitting on my TBR and in my Labor FM library for way too long, so we're gonna give it a chance. And then this next book is a book that I actually picked up during the Audible sale recently, and it's Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. I know nothing about this book. I don't wanna know anything about this book, so I'm not gonna tell you what it's about, but I have seen this book come up over and over again, especially on Instagram. I feel like a lot of people have read this book and I think a lot of people like it. I don't know what it's about. I'm a little worried that it's going to be a bully romance. I don't know why I have that in my head. That I think just from the cover, it gives, what's that Penelope Douglas? series. Like it's giving me the vibe of the Penelope Douglas series that's not Bully, but her other one. I forgot what it's called, but for some reason it's giving me that vibe. But it's also giving me very spooky season vibes. So I'm totally picking this up based on the fact that so many people have read it and because of the cover. Will I like it? Who knows? Because I don't know any of the tropes. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> but I'll link it down below in case you want to look it up. Okay, and then I added the last two books in Laura Thalassa's Four Horsemen series because I read the first two books already and I picked them up during the Audible sale. And 
it is famine and death. So I, I am going to prioritize them this month. I feel like this month would be a great month to read it. I love this series. I don't know why it's taken me so long to read it because I read Pestilence like a million and a half years ago. So I don't know why it's taken me so long to pick up these last two. I think it, you know why? It's because there hasn't been an audiobook for it and the audiobooks came out not super recently, but recently-ish. And then they also were not on Whisper Sync or anything. So they've always been kind of expensive. And I've always wanted to use my like one audible credit for something else. And they're not on any other like audio websites that I pay for. So I've been kind of putting them off, but as soon as they went on sale, I immediately bought them. And I'm very excited to read them. If you're unfamiliar with the Four Horsemen series by Laura Thalassa, they are amazing. So, so freaking unique. It is the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse as heroes. Each book follows each of the four horsemen and it's fantastic. There's, it's one of those like, I hate everyone but you heroes and like all of that stuff, like unforgivable kind of heroes who are doing unforgivable things because they're trying to end humanity, but then they fall in love. I love it. Anyway, okay. And then last but not least is Sally Thorne's new book. Now this is a YA book, which is the main reason why I haven't picked it up yet, even though I pre-ordered it. And it's Angelica Frankenstein Makes Her Match. And I'm sorry, but this sounds freaking adorable. It's a Frankenstein, it's not a retelling, but I think it's supposed to be like the daughter of Frankenstein or something. I can't remember, but she's like the daughter of Dr. Frankenstein, related to him in some way, but she ends up making herself a love interest of some sort, like a boyfriend or something. I'm not sure. I don't know much about it, but I love Sally Thorne's writing and I'm interested to see how she writes for a YA and this is such a cool premise. So very excited about it. It's very Halloween-y. I love it. All right, guys, that's it. Those are all the books that I'm hoping to read this spooky season. Let me know down below what you're planning to read, even though I have a really long TBR and you guys might inspire me to want to read other books this Halloween and it could be bad things, but it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy reading. Bye.